Okay, welcome back to Swell Academy. It's the class time here, and we're working with uh, some exponential equations, using factoring, changing the way the number looks in order to solve for what x is. Some of this stuff will, will be clear to you guys. Some will take some. It'll take a little bit of practice. And what this is going to do for us is lead us into evaluating logarithms because being able to factor an exponent is, is important in that case. So um, some may just see right away the relation that 36 and 6 has and the fact that a square root of 36 is equal to 6. And then some will see, oh, well, I know another way of writing the, the square root of 36. I can write that as 36 to the 1 half equals 6. Um, so in this case, x is equal to 6. Yet another way to look at it, and an important way to look at it, and that's why we will, is, is I, I can, 36 is equal to 6 squared. So potentially I can rewrite my 36 to 6 squared to the x, right? We still have x there is equal to 6. And in this case, I'm going to say 6 to the first. Now, what you see is, is you have a match of bases here. And this match allows me actually to eliminate these bases and just say, just say over here, 2x, 2x is equal to 1, divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 1 half. And we see how we, we have that match to what we originally dealt with here. So, you know, this idea of, you know, exponents and changing, basically changing your base is, is a great way to solve for. Now, you have another. A uh, good one here I like because uh, we actually have to change both of these bases. So in one, we know we can rewrite 25 as 5 squared. And in the other, we know we can write 125 as 5 to the third. And whatever you end up with as an exponent here, you're basically, when you factor your number, you're, you're basically going to multiply that to whatever you had originally. Because if, if you think about it, it's it's 5 third to the x. And if you had uh, x squared to the third, you're going to be multiplying those exponents. You get x to the sixth. So that's a good thing to look at there. Um, so in this case, we could just, again, eliminate our base and say 2 is equal to 3x, divide by 3, and x is equal to 2 thirds. Now, I just, I just wanted you to just on the next page here, basically what that's saying is 1 over... 1 to the raised to the 2 thirds power is 25. As a review, I just wanted to look uh, real quick. So basically what this is, is this is a number raised to, and, and this is the number that always goes, and I'll show you here, outside your, your root. So in this case, the 3 goes here. So whatever you have as a denominator, will go outside your root box, and then whatever's in, or, or as a numerator here, that's what's gonna go inside your box. And if I were to solve this out, um, let's see, do I have that posted somewhere? If I were to solve that out, basically, you know, this would result in your, in your 25 here. So that's a good way to, to look at some of these. Uh, another thing you want to look at is this 8 to the one third. Again, you just have 8 to the first. So this is the cube root over 8 here. So that's that's also a really good thing to look at as well. Uh, and, and and the result with this of this would be 2. So we're going to go on to another couple problems I like here to look at. Uh, I like this one because originally I, I changed this to I changed this to an 8 squared raised to the 3x2 power, but I ran into a problem because uh, it, 8 to the third is 512. So it kind of skips over uh, the 256. So I'm not really able to line up a, a, a similar base. I can't match up the base. So I'm going to, again, just kind of switch off to 4, knowing that 4 to the third power is 64, so that, that works for me here. And then 4 to the fourth power, we'll put that in parentheses so we could show that we changed it for right now, kind of match things up. And then remember that this, this 
whole thing is getting raised to this. So there is a distribu distribution factor in there. So we'll have four to the nine X minus six is equal to four to the fourth. And now that I have my bases match up, I can eliminate them and solve for X. I'll spare you the algebra review there uh, and just kind of uh, keep moving with that. You could solve for X. And then the last one I saw too, as a good example, I saw out there is this, okay, well, now I have a fraction, run for the hills. Oh no, what to do? Well, again, this understanding of fraction rules as far as uh, how can I say this? Like one, one over X can be written as X to the negative one. Or if I had X to the negative third power could be written as one to the X to the third. This idea of negative exponents and moving up and down. So I can rewrite this as eight to the negative one power. And now I have that, that match of base. So I can eliminate both of these eights and say negative one is equal to three X plus one and then subtract one. I'll spare you the algebra review and solve for what X is. So these are some good examples of factoring uh, exponential equations to solve for X. Hope this helps. Uh, remember, hard work brings success. The more you fail, the more you succeed. And I'll see you next time.